Leading side friend, it's Mitty Man, coming back at you from Walker's Music. We yet another word for the day. We want to give God the praise and the honor and all the glory. We give Him, we give Him honor for life, health, and strength for as well as it is, people, because it could have been the other way. And uh, we thank Him for life, health, and strength. Touching us this morning with the finger of love, carrying us through a whole day. And just about to embark on a new day. Nevertheless, want to give a shout out to the YouTube fam from Baby Justice. All the way up to Big Papa JT as well as Mama JT. Y'all know the routine. Also to the entire Harvest Gang, Brother L.A., Kingdom Knowledge. Also Brother Elder Michael McCray, Brother P.B. Drawing, Brother Hyden Cliff, Brother Papa JT, Sister Elect 777, Sister Kate, as well as Linda and Leonard. We give y'all honor. I just wanted to come back, people, the nightcap edition word and I, I've been I've been struck I've been right restraining myself just about all day from doing this video. Um I think I I was trying to wait until I got the right unction to do it. Um we need to do things as we are led by the Holy Spirit. I always believe that. Don't do anything unless you are led by the Spirit because you'll mess it up. And so, therefore, I'm just now fixing it to uh, embark on this little journey. It's not going to be a long journey. It might take me three minutes. But I'm going to, I was, uh, I, I don't even know what video that I was looking at. And I was I was trying to figure some things out. And uh, not looking through some things, trying to f f in search of something else. Matter of fact, I was looking for a song. And uh, I ran across... This video and I thought it, would, it, it caught my eye. The female on it, uh, it was about the subject matter. About uh, I could tell from the subject that it was some something that someone had perhaps maybe offended her or in some kind of way. But at any rate, at any rate, uh, she was very dipl diplomatic of the way she handled it and. Uh, I know I have gotten uh, some comments. All of them wasn't good. I don't worry about that. Uh, about the thinning and the proving, y'all know. All of you know. I don't. I don't deal with that. I don't play spiritual volleyball because I don't have a heaven or a hell to put anybody. Uh, but I just know the word of God for what it. And I take it. Take that word of God as it's written to what I have. I don't have the original text, so I have to use what I have, and I listen to the spirit within me. God said he was going to write his laws and his commandments, he would he write on our heart. People, you know when you're doing wrong. Don't nobody have to tell you when you're doing wrong. Even a child, the smallest child, know when they're doing wrong. If they didn't know, why would they hide when they do it? So that, that lets you know it's built in. It's a self-built-in mechanism in all of us. We know when we're wrong. You treat somebody wrong, you know you done done that. It's in you. It's a built-in mechanism. And so therefore, there's no need for all of this thinning and proving and all this here ducking and dodging and all this theology and all this here, this roller coaster ride, people. People, we need to get back. We need to get back to the prime directive. And I guarantee you, people, I guarantee you, and I mean... I, I I'm I'm hope I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But I, I just feel within my spirit that if you were to ask in most churches right today, and that these people going through all these acrobats and they doing they doing all this hell mud slinging at each other and trying to prove this one wrong and trying to do all this other stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We done had Bible study on this, the same thing. Christian forum, like me and Brother JT, we done had stuff on there. But I guarantee you, if you were to ask and go to most of your tribe, not everybody now, but most of them, they would not even know. And I tell people, let's forget about all this here foolishness and go back to the prime directive, the mission statement. Most churches wouldn't even know what the mission statement is. People, it wasn't to go around and prove how much we know about the Bible. No. Christ told us to make disciples out of the all nations. That's what we that's the church mission. 
That's the prime directive right there. The prime directive is to make disciples. That's what we're supposed to be doing, people. We, but now we got everything going on but making disciples. We don't forget about the people. We, we, we. <laughs> I think some of you know what I'm talking about. But people, and I'm going to cut this video off right there. That's the prime directive. Let's get back to the prime directive, the mission statement, the original plan. The orders that was given to us by who? The Lord of the church. The, the bride groom. Who is that? Jesus Christ. What did he tell us to do? Make disciples out of all nations. That's the, that's the mission that the church is supposed to be doing. Not, now, I ain't got nothing against cake, bakes, and pies. I ain't got nothing against all of that, people. That part of it. However we decide to make the disciples, that's fine. If you want to use cake bake sales and all like that there and doing bingo games and you know what I'm saying. If that's, if, if that's going to be part of it or the way that you choose to work the field all over. But let the prime directive and the mission statement let us get back and stop deviating from the original plan. Jesus said make disciples. That was the mission statement people. That's what the church. You and I, we are supposed to be doing we cannot make disciples if we arguing with them. <laughs> Come on, people. Let's get real. Remember, whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God isn't in it, it's best that we get out of it. It's mid-man saying peace and goodbye.